know, in a way, the ocean could be seen as the world's most perfect instrument. The wind strikes the water like the strings of a guitar, creating waves whose rhythms generate a form of music that everybody sees and hears differently. Surfers are the lucky ones. We get to dance on water to the music of the ocean. Each of us moves to the rhythm of the sea, but we all have our own style. I think this is one reason why I started surfing in the first place. The 70s remind me of two things, chasing girls and surfing. Unfortunately, I wasn't so good at the former, so my buddies and I would skate down to the beach every day to surf. We all rode single or twin fin shortboards, equipped with rails as thick as your waist and giant rudders for fins in the back, and no leashes. Oh, and don't forget board shorts that covered so little of your body they should have been outlawed. As time passed, a new design revolution took place that changed my life forever. Newer and thinner and narrower tri-fin boards began to flood the lineup. After watching what the guys were doing on these things, I had to try one for myself. The ride was completely new to me, but the amount of control and speed they offered sold me for life. I'd entered a new age of surfing, and I haven't looked back since. I was born into a world of surf contests and jet ski towings. I mean, surf breaks today are just like little war zones where you have to sit and fight the waves, yourself, and then of course the throngs of wetsuit jockeys out there who are just as hungry for waves as you are. And I don't know, I just decided this isn't a part of surfing I want to be involved with. Everything changed for me though the day I found my dad's old single fin board from the 70s. I don't know, I've never seen anything like it before. I, I took it down in the water. And as the pack fought and yelled at one another for messing up each other's boost sections, I was just catching some of the best waves of my life. After that, I began to see surf shops everywhere were starting to carry these old retro models of single and twin fin boards. Just about every break nowadays you can find young surfers who are trading their potato chip thrusters for a smooth, soulful ride of a retro single fin. I mean, surfing shouldn't be based off how cool your equipment looks, it should just be about how much fun you can have on it. One day my dad asked me, you know, why don't I ride the new surfboards? And I, what is new? For me, new just isn't a time or a place, it's, it's just, I don't know, whatever breaks free from social standards of our contemporary society. I mean, it should just take current notions of whatever's normal and just stand them on their head.